G'day, it's Charlie ZL2 CTM. Just want to do a, a quick video today to look at um, a simple interface between uh, the computer and the TS120V here uh, that I've, I've made up just to play around with getting my head around the software and, and how it works. That's the WSJT software as well as the additional, which I've added in as well, JS8 um, software. Um, this rig here that I'm using, the, uh, the TS120V little QRP 20 watt uh, radio, is, it's a very simple rig, which yeah, I like. Um, no digital inputs, nothing special at all, so um, I'm having to utilise uh, the microphone uh, input for the transmit audio and then the phone's output for the receive audio. Um, so I just need some kind of uh, interface between that uh, as well as a means to, to key the radio. Um, again, uh, a caveat that I've said many times in these videos, um, I'm no expert in any, any of this. Um, I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. This is a, a way of doing it. Um, uh, I've said you know, um, these videos are all about trying to encourage others to give it a go. Um, and I see these videos very much as a video log of some of the, the things that I've been playing around with. Um, and hopefully I can impart through them what I was thinking at the time and why I made certain decisions um, to, to, you know, to help others, to, um, to or encourage others more the point, to give homebrew a go. Anyway, so with that big huge caveat up front, this is what I decided to do uh, for this particular build, um, like I say. Um, I'll go through the circuit in a sec down here. Uh, what I uh, what I wanted to do uh, as a as a start was to have some isolation, uh, an earth isolation that is between the computer and the radio. So I didn't want to have a direct connection between the two. Um, so I've utilised uh, a couple of 600 ohm to 600 ohm uh, audio transformers that I got through AliExpress some um, some time ago. They, they were very very cheap. So I think I got about 20 of them as, as a, in, in in one go. Um, so that's what I've used, and again, like I say, we'll look at the um, circuit in a sec. Uh, I've got a voltage divider there um, for the audio coming out of the radio back into the computer, which we'll look at. And then over here, I'm just using um, a, a USB to serial interface, and then picking up on the uh, data terminal ready um, signal to, to key this relay, which again, we'll look at uh, in a sec. So, with that in mind, we're just setting the scene uh, from a circuit point of view, uh, very simple. Let me just zoom up there a little bit. Uh, so from a, uh, a transmit point of view, we got uh, audio coming out of the computer through that speaker port, uh, through that 600 ohm to 600 ohm isolation transformer, and then just feeding straight into uh, the microphone socket. So this is the, the for my radio here, uh, the microphone has got four terminals, and uh, this is looking at the, where the wires come in, so the, the back shell part of the rate of the uh, the uh, connector, and I'm just picking up on these bottom two here. The top two are for the uh, the PTT, which we'll look at in a sec. So that's all I've done from from a transmit point of view. Uh, in terms of uh, the settings on the computer, I've just arbitrarily set the speaker volume in software. That's the bottom right hand corner on the Windows 10 machine uh, to 50%. Uh, and then I'm just using on the computer, oh sorry, 50% for software. Uh, on the WSJT, I've just set the, the power slider to uh, maximum. And then on the radio side, I'm just using the microphone gain uh, to to vary the, um, the output power. And so that's all I'm doing there for transmit. On receive, we've got audio coming out of that, that headphone socket of the radio. Uh, going through a, again, a, a 600 ohm, 600 ohm isolation transformer into the microphone input of the computer. Now, because the microphone input is very, very sensitive, and that's quite a high level coming out of here, um, I've elected to knock it down by a tenth, so a, um, a simple voltage divider there. Uh, I'm looking at the voltage across that 1k ohm resistor, and as we know from a voltage divider, V out, in other words, what's being sent to the uh, transformer, is V in, what's coming out of the headphones, times 1K over 1K plus 10K, these two here. So uh, our simple voltage divider uh, equation there, and it comes out to be approximately a tenth. Um, on the PTT line there, um, I'm using the uh, data terminal ready signal that's coming out of the computer. 
So uh, that's a 5 volt signal and uh, when the software wants to key the communications equipment, in other words the radio, uh, that 5 volt line goes low. Which happens to be exactly the kind of signal that this little um, relay here is using. Now why I elected to use a relay was again I wanted to have uh, isolation between the computer and the radio. So by having a, uh, a relay then I could have uh, the normally open and the, uh, the common terminals there being my switch. So in other words, exactly what we're seeing up here. Um, there's obviously other ways of doing it. Uh, this is not the correct way of doing it, but it is a way of doing it. And like I say, these little 5 volt relays here, which again I bought a whole stack of them from AliExpress a while back, work really well because the input line there, that bottom one, uh, is active low. So when that 5 volts goes to, to low, to 0 volts, that's when this actually triggers. Um, which worked well for that DTE, let's say again that DTR line coming out of the serial. Um, and that was about it actually, so uh, it's working well. Um, had a few contacts read this morning, so um, uh, that's that's good. So just into the uh, the eastern side of the United uh, not United States, eastern side of uh, Australia, just uh, with that little antenna up on the roof. Um, not a huge amount of activity at the moment, but uh, it was more just uh, covering off on on what I did. Anyway, so like I say, um, that is not, like I say, I'm not trying to say this is the way of doing it, it is a way of doing it, uh, and just sort of passing on uh, what my, my thinking was in regards to having that uh, that isolation between the two. Um, and that voltage divider you can see down there on the receive line, so that's the audio coming out of the, the radio through that voltage divider into that transformer and then into the, the microphone side. Uh, and that's it. Um, I mentioned the, the software here, so... Uh, on the right hand side, like I say, I've got the power set to 100% and then I'm just using the microphone gain there to adjust the, the, uh, the power. Um, there's a lot of talk about the um, not having the ALC active uh, and certainly at the moment when I do go to ALC I'm not getting any deflections there so I'm not getting any kind of um, um, artifacts potentially in the signal there which uh, again I need to get my head around but there's quite a few articles online talking about that. Uh, for the receive side of the house, what I neglected to say, um, I just use the AEF gain over here and I adjust that to on the receive side, uh, get that up somewhere between that. So roughly around that 50% seems to be about right. Um, you can go, I, I find I can go well over 60 and I'm still getting good reception, but 50% um, sounds about right. Um, so it's just nice and easy to adjust that. And with that 10 to 1, um, that seems to work well. Right, other than that, I think that's all I wanted to cover off on, so uh, I will get back to today playing around with uh, this radio, getting the, uh, the NE612s on board. Uh, we'll get that uh, SI5351 with the VFO feeding in, um, and then hopefully we'll get the, uh, we'll get the uh, RF splitter there feeding some RF in, and then we'll have uh, a receiver up and running, uh, and I can go from there. Okay, 73, and we'll see you next time.